Teresa. Yeah, I got a horse throat. Yeah, and uh, you won't believe why. Well, it's a long story, right? But, like, basically, this is what happened night. Stats Canada come to my door, right? And this nice old lady, she says, she goes, I'm here for an interview. And I was like, oh. And she goes, didn't you get her letter in the mail? And I'm like, yeah, I got you letter, right? And she's like, oh. And I was like, I didn't want Dad to admit to her that I never read the letter. I did see a letter from Stats Canada, and I did open it and say that we were selected to do, like, a, like some kind of questionnaire. And I was like, oh, okay, but I never really read it. I actually just threw it away and, and, and didn't, you know, do anything with it. But anyway, so I didn't want Dad to admit that to her because I didn't know what kind of trouble I'd be in. So I just said, yeah, come on in, right? So anyway, she sat down, eight o'clock, just left quarter to ten. Quarter to ten, an hour and forty-five minutes later, she left the house. I was, I mean, that magician's done. And not only that, just before she come in through the door, guess what happened? Kim Budgel was outside, stepped in dog poo, brought it all in through the house. I had to go give him a bath, just got him at the bath when she walked in. And I said, do you, s listen, be honest with me, do you smell dog poo? And she's like, yeah, I gotta be honest, I do. And I was like, oh, okay. So I had put one of those melty thingies, like tart burning thingies. Like, and I don't like burning a lot of them, right? Because it bothers my throat. But I couldn't have poor lady sitting there in dog poo smell, right? So anyway, I was just been gone. She said, she was like, I'm going to ask you a few questions about household spending. I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, she was like, how much did you spend on your house? How much did you spend on furniture? How much did you spend on this? How much did you spend on that? How much did you spend on TVs? How much did you spend on the equipment? And then I started thinking, I oh, hope she really works with Stats Canada. Like, she might be just taking the inventory of what I got in the house. Right? But she had a badge. Right? I don't know. I was like, and then I was sort of getting a little bit nervous, right? I asked her a few questions on seeing if she was legit. And I did, did get the letter from Stats Canada, so, you know, that's another one, like, you know, clue that she was real, right? But anyway, I had me drove, and then right at the end, she was like, oh, we're at the end of it. And I was like, oh, thank goodness, because I'm done, right? Anyway, she goes, uh, now she said, you got to do a diary for me for 14 days. I got to keep track of everything I spend for 14 days. Keep every receipt for every coffee, every lunch, everything I buy, all my groceries, everything I buy for 14 days. So there goes my trip to St. John's next week, because Mother will know everything that I got when I was there, right? <sighs> I said, will I get in trouble? Will I go to jail if I don't do it? And she's like, no, you won't go to jail. And I was like, oh, okay. So then maybe I won't, right? I don't even know why they collects all that stuff anyway. I don't, like, I guess the government just uses it to justify cutting stuff. That's what I figure, because they're not doing it for spending, that's for sure. Right? Anyway, I am drove with it. Yeah. And I just, uh, my head hurts. I hate numbers. Eight some. I I do work in accounting, but like still I hate numbers, right? And I anyway got me drove. And I hate to think about all the money I spent because I wish I had it now. I'd go away. I'd fly away for the next fourteen days, and she would never hear me hear telling me again. No. Anyway, I gotta go. I gotta go do my dishes, and it's uh oh now a quarter after ten. Drive me right up the wall. Yeah, so I had a great day, bad night. Win some, lose some. Yeah, tomorrow, oh, tomorrow's a better day, right? That's all we can ever hope for. Anyway, see you then. Bye.